Hey everyone, so today I am doing a makeup look on this super sultry, sexy, smoky eye and it is inspired by an espresso martini which happens to be one of my favourites. So yeah, this is part of the cocktail series and I also used only one brand for everything in this video which is Clinique. I am collaborating with Clinique on this video and I'll be showing you one of my new favourite moisturisers so stay tuned for that. Also there'll be a bunch of mini first impressions because heaps of the stuff in this video I haven't tried before so let's get started so I was lucky enough to receive not one but two huge boxes of Clinique makeup I was so excited so yeah this is the look we're going for today as you saw in the intro it's just a really warm brown color cocktail obviously espresso you know coffee <laughs> so to prep and prime my skin this is my new favorite moisturizer I've been using this for the past three or four weeks or so and then Clinique reached out to me and asked if I wanted to feature it in a video so I was like hell yeah why not it's so so good it's called the moisture surge extended thirst relief moisturizer here's my one out of the packaging as you can see I've used quite a bit of it I took this to LA with me recently because that's like a 12 hour flight and my skin it gets so dry on the plane this was my absolute sweet haven. I love the texture. It's almost like jelly. It's really like bouncy and it soaks into your skin so so nicely. It feels so refreshing and just makes your skin look so dewy and glowy. It keeps my skin feeling so hydrated all day. I like to use it morning and night and I'll also use it on my shoulders, neck and the front of my chest. It has hyaluronic acid in it which is a really nice relief from any fine lines, wrinkles, dry skin. But overall I just love the way it makes my skin feel. It's really quite cooling it just moisturizes so well and I find it to be a really nice kind of base to put down before I do any makeup it is seriously legit so once that was done then I went in with my foundation and I'm using the beyond perfecting foundation and concealer by Clinique in two different shades to make my perfect shade I always keep a paler one and a darker one on me just so that it can match me no matter how pale or thick tanned I am I have used this foundation a few times in my videos and it really grow on me a lot it's really easy to blend out especially with a damp sponge so that's what I'm using today and it gives you such good coverage so I'm just applying that all over for a flawless base Now for them under eye circles, you can just use that foundation and layer it a little bit but I wanted to try a new one so I could do some first impressions so I'm actually trying two. First I'm taking the line smoothing concealer under my eyes and in a kind of triangular shape. I was so shocked with how much I ended up liking this. Can you see how easy that blended out and it's so brightening. And then I went in with the All About Eyes concealer just for some extra coverage and in my opinion you could probably use this all over your face like no matter where you needed extra coverage because it really gave a lot of coverage. So as you can see it helped to make my under eye circles super bright, super concealed so I was pretty stoked with those. Next up I went in with the Chubby Stick. Now this used to be raved about on YouTube. I don't think I've ever tried it before. This was a brand new one and it's in the shade Curvy Contour. Super cute name. And I applied a stripe of this under each cheekbone, around my temple under my jaw under my lip and on my nose and used my sponge to blend and my facials right now are in shock by how easy this was to blend out you can see it for yourself like you can see it with your own eyeballs I think on myself on my skin tone at the moment I would prefer something a little bit cooler in tone but the actual product itself is just a dream to work with so I was really really impressed with that first impression wise let me know if you guys have tried it down below in the comments and then what is contouring without highlighting so I'm using the chubby stick sculpting highlight by Clinique and same thing it was so easy to blend I think if you like natural highlighters you will absolutely love this because it gives it a really nice natural sheen to the face especially if you don't wear a lot of powders and same thing goes if you guys like natural blushes this is like one of the most natural blushes I've ever seen on myself I feel like this looks so natural and really sinks into the skin and it was super super easy to blend once again all of those balm products are really really easy to blend next up I took a big fluffy brush in this transparent powder by Clinique just to set my makeup and I used this all over and then I took a smaller brush which is a small face brush and 
and just applied a little bit over that concealer under my eyes to set it in place just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere or crease or do anything like that and then for the eyebrows I didn't have a powder so I had to use my own powder but I'm using this Just Browsing Brush On Brow Mousse by Clinique and I actually quite liked this it's a very flexible hold it's not a super harsh hold product and it's really moussey like the name would suggest and I really liked the color once it kind of set in it really gave my eyebrows a lot of dimension now on to the makeup I want something sultry sexy because that's what an espresso martini reminds me of and then I'm using the color inspiration of course so first I'm taking this black eyeliner by Clinique and running that close to my lash line and smudging it out I recommend doing this one eye at a time because by the time I got through one eye the other eye had set so it sets really quickly and then I'm taking these chubby eyeshadow sticks by Clinique in two different shades of brown these are a nice tint to the eye they're not super opaque so so good for those of you who maybe have more mature eyes or anything like that and you just want something really quick to slap on that has lots of moisture in it they're really easy to work with so I'm putting this one kind of three quarters the way along my eye and blending it out it's slightly darker than this shade here this shade here I'm kind of putting on top and into the crease and blending that out really nicely and these eyeshadows just give a really nice smoldery kind of effect to your eye makeup Next up, I'm taking this True Bronze Bronzer in Sunkissed with a blender brush and popping that in the crease just to warm up my eye look a little bit. I also put that underneath the lash line. And then to finish off the eyeshadow, I'm taking this Clinique Lid Pop Eyeshadow in Cocoa Pop and just popping that all over the eyelid just to set those creams and just give a little bit more color dimension. I'm also, as you can see, going back in and smudging a little bit more of that black eyeliner out and I also put it on my waterline and on my tight line just to darken up those lashes. Then I went in with some liquid liner. This is the pretty easy liquid liner and I have to say it definitely is really easy to use. The brush tip is super flexible, really tiny, so I was able to get a really thin line and sharp wing. I do wish it dried more matte though. And then this product here, the Bottom Lash Mascara, I have used before. This is out of my personal collection that I already had, and it's drying out, but I love this stuff so much. I love the little wand. It's super cute and works super well. And then this mascara is the Lash Power Mascara. This was the first time I tried it. I did really like it, but I found it really hard to get off. So if you like really long wearing mascara, you'll like it, but I don't really need that. Next up is Cream Pop Lid Pop, and this is kind of like the creamy, foamy part of the Espresso Martini. I'm using this on my brow bone and in a corner, and I'm also going to use it to highlight, but first I'm just quickly bronzing up my cheeks and temples with that bronzer again, and a fiber brush, and then yeah, going back in with a smaller face brush, and just packing that on the cheekbones so that I can glow. And then for a sultry look I always like to look quite flushed I don't know I think it's really pretty so this is Colourpop blush these blushes are one of my all-time favorite blush formulas as you guys know if you watch my videos and then I'm using this matte lipstick in clove pop and it's a really nice warm brownish reddish brown color it reminds me of coffee beans mm. So there we have our final look. I really love it. I think it's super sexy, pretty, wearable, smoky, just all of it. And I feel like it really portrays an espresso martini really nicely. So hopefully you guys agree and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, check out Clinique if you do have any skin concerns. If you've got really dry skin, I totally recommend that moisturizer. I have been absolutely obsessed with it. I'll put some links down below to the products I used today if you're interested. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and request down down below in the comments and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!